Here's a nighttime test of how it looks with the halogen bulbs at night. OEM. So this is the before. It's almost like the high beams are on. Pretty cool, eh? What's up guys, back again with the 1992 Toyota Sentry. Today I'm gonna go ahead and do a headlight change and go from the halogen H4 bulbs to the LED Basla H4 bulbs. All right, because I'm finding out that at night I'm not really able to see well enough down the road. So I decided to go with a Scotty Kilmer recommended Basla bulb. He mentioned that this is one of the better ones that are out there on the market. I was really wary of Chinese made LED headlamps because usually they tend to flicker from time to time and I did not want any flickering. So today with this 1992 Toyota Century, we're gonna go ahead and change out the stock bulbs and see how these fare. Let's do it. But before I get started, let's do a little bit of comparison. So let's go ahead and turn on the lamps, how they are normally OEM without any modification. All right, here goes the stock configuration without any modification. As you can see, the OEM halogen bulbs are pretty dim. They do not light up at night very well. So this is a daytime comparison. Now, let's change to a nighttime comparison. All right, guys, here's a nighttime test of how it looks with the halogen bulbs at night. This is normal halogen bulbs, OEM. Here we go. All right, let's take a look outside. So keep in mind the distance of how far it goes with just the halogen bulbs. So this is a before. Oh, here goes my neighbor again. What Butch? I'm blessed. What you doing? You cleaning up? Yeah. Oh, no littering. I like that. That's how you do it. Yeah, man. That's, a, that's an awesome thing to do. I see they got some books back there. Why are they throwing away books? Maybe people need to read something. Why sometimes. do they take it to the library? I don't know. You, I don't know, man. I'm so disgusted with this world. I can't why? tell you. Because it's screwed up, that's why. Because of books on the floor? No, just everything in general. L last time we talked about Trump and then Same you, stuff. You said the world was going to be... Has he gone anywhere? I don't know where he's at. He's still around. Right. <laughs> he's still causing trouble. Right. Oh. Well, I hope you, how are you doing personally? How's yeah. COVID treating you? So, so. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just, man, I'm 75 years old. I've been on this earth a long time. Right. And I've seen a whole lot of stuff I don't like and nothing seems to change. Just a bunch of blah, 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 blah. Right. You got some ears on you, Butch. <laughs> I do. Yeah. And a lot of knowledge. Absolutely. Oh, I'm just, it just, I don't know. I watch these politicians and they're just so, all they are is car salesmen. Hmm. What are they trying to sell us? Uh, that everything's great. Hmm. Their only job is to get elected. And then after that, they don't do anything. It's like that in many countries, I hear. Oh, it's, I'm sure it is. Hmm. Everybody has a story. Absolutely. Am I on YouTube now? Yeah, you're a star, Butch. I, I was just wondering. <laughs> you're a star. I, I figured, oh boy. Yeah. That's all right. You haven't gone viral yet, but you're a star. Maybe I'll, maybe somebody will contact me. They have no way to contact me. <laughs> no. They have to do it through you. Yeah. Because every time I'm out here fixing my car, you're there. <laughs> am I? LEDs. Oh, am I walking around doing something? or? Yeah, always. Essentially, <laughs> I'm out picking up people's trash. I go out every morning and pick up people's trash. Well, that was the one time. No, nah, forget it. <laughs> no, go ahead, tell me. Oh man, there goes Butch. I don't know. Is he gonna come and bother me today? Wow, Butch is such a nice guy. He's picking up litter. Now that is a cool dude. That's Butch in the wild. How you doing today, Butch? Hey, how you doing? I'm blessed. Nice to see you again. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. He threw the litter that he picked up into the back of the bed of that Silverado. Oh, Butch. You see, Butch, I was rooting for you, brother. 
so what should I do? Should I go remove the trash that Butch put into the back of that Chevrolet Silverado? <laughs> nah. <laughs> no, I, I see you pick up trash. That's a wonderful thing. I'm out every morning doing it. I see, I and see. And I you. grumble. Mm. You know, I'm over here talking to this dumpster, you know. All right. Because I don't want to run into anybody. Go ahead and pop the hood. All right. So, to install these new LEDs, it's rather simple. All we're going to do is just go down to the headlight housing right here, and there is a rubber boot. So the first thing you're going to do to remove the bulb from this casing is to remove the actual power connector. Let's do that. Just get a firm grip and just pull. Just like that. Just kind of wiggle side to side and it'll come off. Get a trim panel remover, specifically a plastic one so you're not gouging the rubber boot here. The next thing you're going to do is just get your hand and pull on this pull tab while you have your wedge tool wedged between the actual rubber and the casing and just push this apart. Make your way around just like this. And now the boot is off. Set our boot aside and now you can see that the bulb is exposed. And the next thing you're going to do is just go ahead and put your two fingers on this spring holder, push in, and this way you can go ahead and pull this apart. This had a break essentially right around here, so I had to remove it. It wouldn't stay on. But if it stays on, do not remove the spring tensioner. All right. You can now go ahead and remove the OEM bulb. As you can see, there's no problems with this particular bulb, but it's pretty dim. So this says it's a Bilix. 64193 Germany 12 volt 60 slash 55 watt H4. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at our new bulbs. As you can see, it has the same construction. The circular triangle portion is exactly the same, and the length are pretty much almost the same. But even with the fan, we're showing that there will be enough space. And you'll notice that the connectors are exactly the same. And so because of this fan, we see that the connection portion is tethered on a line. So all you'd have to do is follow that line and connect it right there. So the great thing about this light construction is that the fan does not interfere with the boot. No modifications has to be done on the boot at all. So the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and remove this particular lineup section away from the bulb. Then we're going to go ahead and get our boot. Stick the LED lamp in there and just push it in all the way. Then you're going to get this particular casing here and snug it down in there just like that while turning it clockwise. And push it down. And as you can see, once you push it down, you can go ahead and adjust it just like that. So the way that our construction is, the two bottom feet are the ones that's going in first. And that's how it will line up. So you first want to adjust it how you want it. I would like this particular portion to be on the bottom. This way it can light up the night sky. So I'll go ahead and adjust it just like this to where this will be a perfect vertical line. And you definitely want to pull on it and tug on it just a little bit just to ensure that it's on there. And so as you can see, it's lined up perfectly fine where our two feet is on the bottom and it's a perfect vertical line and this base is at the bottom just like that. So now we can go ahead and install our H4 LED light. So all you're going to do is just go ahead and feed it in there nicely. Make sure you don't scratch it or anything like that. Push the other wires away and line it up within the grooves. And as you can see, it's lined up perfectly. But before we proceed, we definitely have to get our spring tensioner back in there. So you're just going to push this boot out just a little bit, kind of fold it backwards. Just going to feed this in there to lock it down. And now that the tensioning spring is reinstalled correctly, now you can go ahead and press your boot around the casing of the headlight assembly. Just like that. And last but not least, our connection assembly. Very easy, just line it up and press it in together. Just like that. Now let's go ahead and test out the lighting. And now that we finished one side of the installation, now let's go ahead and take a look at the difference between the old OEM halogen bulb and the new LED light. Oh my goodness, what a stark difference. It is brighter, it is white, it is not yellow. You can definitely tell that it can illuminate the darkness. 
So that's the difference. Now let's go ahead and do a before and after between the OEM halogen and the LED bulbs. And here it is at night. Wow, look at the brightness. It is completely lit out here. Now. Look how far in the distance it goes. Now this is a great upgrade guys. So definitely I recommend you definitely get these LED bulbs. It makes a big difference. It's almost like the high beams are on. Pretty cool, eh? And that does it guys. That does it for my installation. Thank you guys for joining me for another JCM fix on this 1992 Toyota Century. I would definitely recommend you guys go ahead and getting some Basla LED lights because as you can see, there is really a big difference. All right guys, thanks for joining me. That somebody asked me about your car the other day. No. <laughs> the Century. Yeah, it's out he there. He was shocked that it was a Toyota. No, absolutely. Toyota Century for the win. How many are there of those? Uh, in the U.S.? Or just... Anywhere. I don't know. I never really looked. It's a lot. <laughs> Can't be a lot. In Japan, yeah, but not here. Yep. But I'm going to go ahead and put some LED lights into that century. Put that on your car? Yeah. Where do you get the parts? This is Amazon. I have a link in my description below. So everywhere, every time I install something, essentially, I put a link in there. And anyone that wants to buy it, they can buy it. It's a Chinese part, but it's a good one. So, yeah. I needed to be brighter. I'm taking longer trips, so. So, the, the, the regular bulbs are just too dim, dim, so. Oh, here goes our other friend. Hello, how are you? I am lovely today. What about yourself? I'm blessed. It's a beautiful day, isn't it? Uh, I'd say it's a lovely day. It's a lovely day. Oh man. <laughs> you had to think about that? Yes, it's a beautiful day. <laughs> this, is, this is like San Diego weather. Absolutely. I guess. I've never been there. But. You know, right. Oh, I'm gonna go ahead and fix finish this car, but get my car. nice to see you, sir. Over here in the yes. Thank you once again, guys. Have a blessed day.